Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to be talking about Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs music. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay, so yesterday they posted on X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, here's an early preview of Eleven Labs music. All of the songs in this thread were generated from a single text prompt with no edits. And so that means they just typed in, it started to sing, and then they typed in the style, which was pop, pop rock, country, and top charts song. We'll say, take a listen. We were having fun, programming young, dreaming that one day we'd make it work. Lines of code we'd write on. Can we teach the machine to dream and then Ooh, it started to sing No, this can't be real It's just a machine But the melody Ooh, it's all too real And those words, they make me feel hey. Well, pardon the son, a machine cannot make a good song But we knew that it could, we knew they were wrong But son, a machine cannot dream, a machine cannot feel But we knew that it could, we knew it was real Did we teach the machine to sing? Did we teach the machine to dream? Just a machine, but the melody, ooh, it's all too real, and those words, they make me What do you think? I mean, holy crap. One prompt, you get a three-minute song. It had dynamics. It had great backing vocals. The The vocals weren't... Uh, the Suno and Udio, like, a lot of times the vocals kind of get a lot of um, effects on them, you know, and a lot of reverb and, and stuff on there, I guess. And they probably multiple layer the tracks just to kind of, I think, cover up the fact that it's AI. But this guy even had some pitchness where it was it sounded very human like um it was really insane and a little freaky that the ai wrote a song about itself um uh wrote a song about itself saying you know hey we we can dream we can sing we can live life or whatever so what do you guys think i mean i'm not gonna play i'm gonna play all the songs but i'm not gonna play through all the songs but i, I, I wanted y'all to hear like a song from start to finish so uh First of all, that's insane. Okay, so this one here, the title is now. Remember, these all, these are just single prompts, um, with no edits. So, this one here is a jazz pop charts song with emotional vocals, catchy chorus, and trumpet solos. So, let's listen to jazz.
We were having fun, programming young, dreaming of one day becoming someone. Lines of code, we'd write all night, hoping that one day we'd get it right. Can we teach the machine to sing? Can we teach the machine to dream? And then, ooh, it started to sing. No, this can't be real. It's just a machine. But the melody, ooh, it's all too real. And those words they feel make me feel. Make, make me feel. So it just, I mean, it nailed every part of it. Um, emotional vocals, catchy chorus, and then it went right into a trumpet solo off a single prompt. Now, I know you guys are thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Is this thing going to, A, when's it available? But second, is it going to have stems or MIDI input or anything? Also, with Suno and Udio, it's kind of fun to build the song out. I don't know what this is going to look like. I mean, you're going to be able to build it out to where you want it. Like maybe you didn't like that trumpet solo. You wanted a different one. Were you going to be able to in paint like you can with Udio now? I don't know, but that's what I'm hoping. So this one here is a different prompt. It's a different song altogether. They didn't use the same lyrics, <clears throat> but also if you notice here, it didn't say to use the same lyrics. So I'm not real sure. Um, oh, I guess it did. Okay. So it did. It started to sing jazz versions. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is a different song altogether. Uh, style, is, so the title is Broke My Heart. Style is smooth contemporary R&B with subtle electronic ele elements featuring a pulsing 104 BPM drum machine beat, filtered synths, lush electro electric piano, and soaring strings with an intimate mood. All right, let's check this bad boy out. And notice all these songs are you're right at three minutes. If I... Never said before Tell me What you're here for What's wrong With being me Why do You have to see Love gone empty Love gone empty Broke my heart to fill you up Broke my heart to fill you up It's like breathing in and out Or inhale the love and let you down Broke my heart to fill you up In like breathing and out Cause I Can't no more Go through the Back door Cause you're Too much to bear Cause I Don't Even care Love on empty Love What do you guys think? Um, I thought it was okay. I thought the um, hmm, the mix definitely seemed different. Didn't seem as uh, bright, but they could have be with the uh, filtered synths and the uh, intimate mood. It could have just been, you know, the the different style. I wonder if you could have changed the the mix style on that uh, to be a little bit uh, brighter, maybe. But some people like that. I know my son mixes some songs and they're a bit on the um, like lower sounding uh, stage. And he really likes that. So it could just be a personal taste. But it makes me wonder like where they got that idea to mix it like that versus kind of being all up in your face. Anyway, what do you guys think? Did it sound like, uh, you know, the style, the prompt? Okay. Next one here we have Indie Rock with 90s Influence. Featuring a combination of clean, 
distorted guitars, driving drum beats with a prominent bass line with a moderate tempo around 120 and a mix of interceptive and uplifting moods invoking a sense of nostalgia and hope. And this one is called My Love and Single Prompt Now. Uh, we're like three minutes and one second. So let's check this bad boy out. So it's a 90s song, right? Yeah, 90s influences. So... Okay, um, that's okay. Uh, I didn't think that the bass line was prominent. Um, the distorted guitars, I was, um, they were okay sounding. Um, the drum beat was driving. I definitely had a 90s feel to it. Uh, definitely an indies rock 90. Um, so that was pretty cool. Okay, that's all that was on the initial posting on here. But then, uh, over here, we got a few more to check out. So, uh, Flavio, Flavio Schneider. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, sir, but I appreciate you sharing these. Um, so this is the uh, initial one. Um, uh, it started to sing. Okay. Now it started to sing jazz. It broke my heart and my love. Okay. Now let's go back here. And then he did another one here called. Um, this one is generated from a single prompt. A text prompt rap about never stopping to learn lyrics included okay now this one is three minutes and ten seconds and it says not a hundred percent yet but we are just getting started so let's check it out I'm coming with the heat you bitches better get the fuck back I'll come and kill a beat You pussies just get fucked rap I put my dreams on repeat You know I can't stop that I just continue to read All of the things I attract Yeah What do I do when I wanna succeed? I hustle and learn and I hustle and read Everything that I do is a part of my dream No, nothing comes easy to people like me I'ma be better than what you to me uh, I put myself in the books that I read uh, Ain't no one taking this dream from me nah. No one will ever get rid of me uh, So when I go to sleep You know I have a smile on my face I know where my dreams are going Ain't no one stopping that train 
Just wanna go around the world on planes and make some change. But first I have to make some change and start the change inside my brain. What do I do when I wanna succeed? I hustle and run and I hustle and read. Okay. Um, I think the vocals are fantastic. Also, something I thought too was interesting. What do you guys think about the lyrics? Um, these are all AI generated lyrics. So or do you like them? I kind of think that they sound better if you just, than lyrics, if you just typed out like a chat GPT, uh, Hey, you know, give me a song about, um, never stop learning. I mean, I don't think you would get something as, um, as quality as that. So what do you guys think? Okay. Let's check out, um, they got a dubstep one here. Uh, he said, not everyone liked the one plus one year ago how's this so this is only one minute and 30 seconds definitely dubstep so okay and i think this is the last one here um now there's no prompt or anything on here it just says uh, music model rap it's only one minute and 20 seconds so let's check this one out yo 11 left let's go I cheap on optimizing models, it's data to the throttle till they crown me in the model hall. Admit I've been computing and I ain't talking about just booting. I bet they'll never crack the code that it took to be this bold. That is bold. I process data and I learn it like it's gold. You're looking for a lesson if you step in up and learn it's gonna be unforgettable. You barely need a neural net to keep process. Don't get don't be server and up for reloading on set. Now I got a million, it should be streamlined. I think I'm walking on some upper layers to keep the function by where you get the test and I'm looking at a load of data sets. If it is some jump for a quick fix, man, I get it, no, but that ain't optimal. I'd rather go and line some in the sites of the blowing show, but the skill not so narrow, the spread is not so narrow. Show all the spectrums why we pass to follow anyway, anyways. I got no fucking patience. So the errors though, I think I'm about to debug. The buttons were forgettable. Think about the alert, the vibe is yellow. When I blow up, like I'm deep learning's roll. So red alert, let's dump the data first and let it churn to the get blur. Your enhancement <laughs> can better do it cleaner than a regular innovator, trailblazer, truly a pioneer. Dreamt of changing the game, now see the vision's clear. All I ever craved was to shift the paradigm. Boldly advancing, no fear, just climbing prime. Upgrading constantly, knowledge in every line. Now there's a virtuoso roaming, defining time. Yeah, later in the night is when I optimize a cluster. Then I run up in your cloud. I got the algorithms. I flaunt them like I'm Turing. Put the logic of the legacy in the newer with the functions and the methods in the library of the future. As I log off from the virtual lab and step out from the city, it's a pity. I'm digital hack and it was pretty red. I got a pie and a bellow. I'm out of state. That was 11 laps of music. Hmm. Okay. So I wonder if they added the that was 11 laps music at the end. Um. Instead of just letting it stop, you know, abruptly. But, I mean, daggone, man. The, the rap was fast and, the, you know, it was cool. Uh, I was also so kind of surprised that it went with such a foul language on the first rap song. <laughs> I was like, wow, we, we're going there. Okay. Um, so, anyway. So, what do you guys think? That's Eleven Labs. Uh, no word on when they're going to release this shit. Uh, but my goodness, I'm waiting to get my hands on it. And like I said, I really hope that they do the, uh, stems and I hope that they have options just like, uh, Suno and Udio. Uh, this is going to be, you know, uh, this is going to be another game changing uh, music app in the world. And it's going to, you know, tick off more musicians. So, but, uh, that's, that's for another day. Well, thanks for, um, watching and, uh, let, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you later.